Hi, I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News and this is ICOs This Week, a weekly overview of what's new and interesting in the world of initial coin offerings. Now, please remember this is just an overview and opinions. If you wish to invest in anything, you obviously will have to do your own due diligence. This week we have MediChain, saving lives with blockchain. We Power, funding green energy developments. Remy, remember me and throw away your password. 500 million med tokens MCUs being offered for sale at 25 American cents. The pre-sale is a sellout. The hard cap is $24 million. The crowd sale begins at 10 p.m. on the 1st of February. Uh, there is a whitelist in place. Know your customer comes strangely after the ICO. The whole venture is about putting your medical records on the blockchain for cost savings and security. They have partners with the British National Health Service. They've got an MVP already running. They have a product called Telemedicine. Telemedicine is all about an app where you use the MCU as the currency to pay for remote consultations with the doctor. They also have another tech branch with a medical wristband for emergencies giving access to your medical records. They have traction. They have 16,000 people on Telegram. They have 6,000 followers on Twitter. They're getting talked about in the right places on the press. They hit the sweet spot with the British National Health Service, with security measures, with bringing new ways to reduce the costs of healthcare. If you want to look at other ICOs that have done quite well last year, you've got Mediblock, Patientory, both uh, similar products, not identical, but have done very well since being listed on the exchange. The team is super impressive, they're big, they're large, the presentation's professional, they've got everything going in the right way. Okay, they have a massive task ahead of them, but they are gearing up for the major challenge. So in summary, these look really good if you can get in for the short-term flip, and they also good look, look good for the long-term haul. We Power, where one ETH will buy you 4,600 WPR tokens. The crowd sale begins on February the 1st. There is a strict whitelist and know your customer policy. The hard cap is $35 million. What's it all about? Well, as the markets change, green energy projects that haven't been built find it harder and harder to secure funding through traditional methods. In Steps We Power, they allow a project to offer its future energy capacity up for auction by using a secondary token where one token equals one kilowatt hour. The team are really experienced in the energy market. They've got a lot of buzz about them, a lot of interest. They've got some great partnerships on with Estonia, with Latvia, with power companies, with Boot Startup Camp in Australia. They're getting a lot of attention in press because they bring about a real change. If you look at other ICOs in this sphere, Power Ledger, okay, they were traditional energy, but you see there is an appetite for energy for moving across the traditional sectors. There is money to be made. On the short side, they look great, probably for flipping, I think you might well make a great return on the short-term investment. On the long term, I think they're going to grow. But if you want to look critically at it, their ability to deliver the projects on time will be affected by third parties beyond their control and there could be delays. And then also, if you look strictly at the figures offered within the project on your return on investment, the, the figures are low. It's like 9% a year. It doesn't really match the risk. So if you believe the token will grow, it's good. If you don't, maybe the figures don't stack up. But this is a wonderful advert for blockchain technology, making real change in the way people do business, real change in green energy projects being able to move forward. One billion REM tokens being offered to the market at four American cents per token. The pre-sale was $1.8 million. The hard cap, including the pre-sale, is $20 million. And the sale begins on the 13th of Feb. The solution is beautifully simple and all about removing the need for password access to corporate machines and networks with SSL encrypted keys held on their own blockchain. It's great in delivery because it means there's no danger of people selling their passwords, forgetting their passwords, or accidentally giving them away. And if the network is hacked, it's hacked in one machine, not the whole corporate network, not everything's put at risk. They've been out there, the team's really impressive, they've been getting traction, and most importantly, they've got their MVP and they've got pilot corporate large customers on board and working with it already in demonstration mode. This seems to be 
getting the next level of interest from IT managers in corporate companies moving. Now, in the short term, it looks very interesting. I think there could be great investment opportunity here. And they seem to have marked out the path for the long term as well. So on both fronts, it's very interesting. And honourable mentions go to the JWC ICO starting on January the 3rd. And as their main areas of interest, they list out e-commerce, global logistics, AI, genetics, machine learning, social values, solving world hunger, that's a good one, and renewable energy. Now, we're just really disappointed that they haven't included space travel. Maybe they can add that one later. Well done, guys. Way to go. I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News. This was ICOs This Week. Stay current, stay valid. Stay tuned. Till next week.